I don't know if you could have saved him. I don't think I can. Yeah. He ran out last time, but this time I guess he doesn't burst out. For reasons. Well, you're abnormal, not hard. There might generally be less enemies appearing. Right. God damn, man. He was gonna die anyway. I was helping him along. I'm a good person. You know, this is one of the reasons why we haven't played through the entirety of a Portal 2 cooperatively. Is there a, uh, an auto assist for aiming? Does it feel like there's an auto assist? It was acting weird. Like this is an old me. game, but it wasn't unheard of, so honestly it's a 50-50 chance. I doubt it, personally. Well, watch the retina here in a minute, like when an enemy pops up. You see that? It could be an auto one. Yeah, it looks like it. Intriguing. I forgot to go to the locker room this time, though. Uh, if you go to the locker room, you can pick up ammo, which... I've neglected to do. Yeah, but on the bright side, this is where we uh, left this off. This is where I died last time. Crowbar him to death. You got this. What is this thing? Do they explain the name of these things later? Uh, they definitely have a name. I don't know if the original gets into it. But, uh, they're, they're, they're... D-475-KL. I'll tell you they're very important. Is it the Covenant? The thing that you informed the me combine? about that I had? No. Oh. They're not the Combine. At least I got more ammo. Which means... The Combine aren't super relevant until Half-Life 2. Well, I know in the beginning of Half-Life 2, you're on, like, a train? And then, like, there's this whole, uh... You know security the people, yeah, you know people point. in like the gas mask type thing? Yeah. Yeah, those are the combine. Okay. That's about all I know about Half-Life 2 though. Because I saw you playing it. I won't get into too many details, but the premise is that they... Well, I don't even know if I want to say that. We'll see how much Half-Life 1 explains, because I haven't played the original. Right. Because I don't want to accidentally spoil something that hasn't been brought up yet. Well, not a lot's been brought up because, you know... Well, this game doesn't have, like, a... Do I have to tear someone's head off scenes. and then, like, put it up to the retina scanner, like, in, uh, System Shop? Gordon Freeman is not that bloodthirsty, my friend. What, in, uh... Tear someone's head off? My I don't think you'd do that. Oh, heal me? I'll wait right here. Don't worry. I am a doctor. Neat. Good to know. And you can take him to the retina scanner. scanner. See, escorting people has a purpose. And also, it's pretty harmless in this game. Like, assuming you succeed, then you get special stuff. But if they die, but in the yeah, process, none of the escorts are like required. It's required. not like Dead Rising. Well, none of those escorts are required either. Mm -hmm. If you want a good ending, they are. I can't pick those up. Okay. No, well, the good ending is just doing specific things for the actual blood at the right times. Not really, they have to save anyone. Uh, if you want to level up, it's required. Yeah, I won't deny that. Saving people is the fastest way to level up. You're not hitting him. I am not down. hitting him. I'm glitched into a wall, I believe. Um. Well, the original's bound to have some glitches if I just shoot him a little bit. There you go. Yeah, there we go. It got you had some ammo. That would have been unfortunate. Unfortunately, this game is too early for the no clip. You can't 
get no clip through all, so do I don't think so. That's a shame. Okay, I think I'm ready to go down this way. You want to give a manual save first, just in case. You landed right on top. Good. Great. Do I need to... No, okay, good. Oh yeah, and none of the Half-Life games really have a map system either, so... Yeah, but that's understandable. Okay, I'm just gonna flip this entire game. They're pretty linear. Noted. That's not good. Yeah, I'm not surprised that it would not, that it is no map system. They're all pretty linear, in fact, it's like a chapter by chapter thing, but. Yeah, I, that's what I was just saying. Don't get your hopes up for a map system. Like, not I, even like a don't mini even map or anything. Whoa. There's something like this in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for the Game Boy. Only it was good. Are you sure? I don't remember when the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fought mutant crabs. Well, the they just fought the mutants shift. in general. That's probably well, like one of the only TMNT Unfortunately, the TMNT, they only ever fought like gang members and various humans. I mean, there was that brain thing. Craig. Well, there's a few mutants, I guess, but like Mass most of it was like. I'm not a TMNT fan, so I don't remember the name. The Wu Tan Clan or something oh. other? No. No? Well, no, that's a real clan Ske in real life. Skeletor? Skeletor is He Man. Nice, just leave him there. It's probably for the best. I think they're doggos. They're alien doggos. Which makes me sad that I killed them. Jeff Goldblum? Aww. Aww. Wait, 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 wait. I might... Yeah, it's over there. Yeah, the dragging system is kind of messy, but that's to be expected, I guess. It's like you're pushing it in a grid. It's like ice physics. Basically, yeah. You can't even jump onto the blocks. Oh. I don't think you'll have enough height even with that. Hmm. What if, what if, what if uh... Now you need to push a small box so you jump on the small box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And... <laughs> No, this is just, let's just, we probably should move on. I still got hit somehow. Okay, that's, uh, concerning. I didn't jump. Why didn't I jump? I clicked space. It could be a little bit glitchy at times. It happens. I don't like how that thing has like either no eyes or like a thousand eyes or just one. It has like one, two, three, four. It has a bunch of eyes there, but they all blink and there's one eyelid. Like nothing with the over ten oh jeez. How did that even work? Grinder. Oh. 
that face down there. Oh, jeez. I'll leave you be, doggo. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be bothering you all that much up there. Careful. I'm not having any luck at the beginning of this game. I'm sure I'll get used to it here in a bit, but it's way too floaty at the moment for me. It happens. The original might be floatier than the remake, I wouldn't know. But he just you keep doing a good thing. time. That's uh -huh. that. That's what hit you. I dodged it. You didn't even break the floor this time. See, this is what I wanted to do. Clever. Very clever. Moist. There you go. Fifteen percent. Hot damn. There's a lot of power. Whoa! So much power! 45 power. Careful of the things. What? Is that an ass blaster? That's a Tremors reference. It's also dangerous. It's also dead. Uh, how do I get dead? Is that a rope? No. I don't think that was a rope. What the fuck are you? It reminds me of a fishing pole waiting for a fishing oh. pole. Waiting for a fish. I don't like those things at all. Yeah, but what happens when you run out of ammo shooting at those things? I get upset. How do I get down? That water is clearly not safe. Is there anything else around you, perhaps? That works. There's a ladder. It leads back up to where you just were. Yeah, probably. Yeah, um, it does. I just had to go and... Gotcha. Well, I mean, it's a good thing I didn't die then. Yeah, that's usually how things work. I mean, you can always save if you ever feel it. Oh, jeez. Here goes all your health. I am great at this. <laughs> oh. I don't even know what sound that is. What do I do? Ba -da -da -ba. It's the elevator sound for Portal. Yeah, probably. There's a lot of the things. I don't like them. I vote to ignore them for now. Well, you get around somehow. Push the box. Ah, jeez, it's way too far. That was a big push. I can't help it. That's the kind of push we're looking for. Just oh the no, Just not the... there. Oh. Yeah, the physics were very much in work at the time. Wait, it's safe. It's safe. You still can't get over there, man. I think this is supposed to represent sewer water. Well, earlier I got into something very similar. Yeah, that. The grinder, and then you died. I see. You touch something like that, you're not coming back alive. Oh, 
now I kind of have to figure out where the hell I need to go. I see. For ingrates who don't know how to play the game, it just gives me a shortcut. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 100 health again. Gotta save. At least saving is quick. Yeah, I mean, the game itself is like, what, 30 megabytes? It's really small. It's really small, but the game is actually really long. They just saved all that space from the reusing the models. A lot. I'm sure. Like, I guarantee I've already seen half of the enemies in the game. Uh... I would disagree. If a ladder's involved, I can pretty much guarantee that you'll expertly fall off of it somehow. Most likely. That doesn't work. Do I have to perhaps jump? With the floaty controls, this sucks. Yeah, I actually enjoy half lives. Oh! Platforming. Even with floaty controls and all. It's dangerous. I'd rather be playing Alice. Doesn't it give you a sense of urgency, though? It gives me a sense of bullshittery. <laughs> more so than Dark Souls. Revel in it. Because it only goes up from here. Hopefully there's not a lot of platforming. <laughs> well, that, that results in imminent death. <laughs> Oh boy, if if if, if I know this game like I know this game, what you're saying is if this was Dark Souls, there'd be a bunch of like messages saying imminent despair. <laughs> if this was death. Dark Souls, there'd be messages saying try jump, <laughs> try jumping, and then you would shoot at the rope for a little bit. It's just like try jumping. Office, Office complex. complex. I don't like that sound. And attack me from the ceiling. <laughs> or the elevator just opens and you can walk out. That didn't sound good. I think someone just got a head crab on him. Probably. Careful. Lightning is dangerous. Electricity in general is pretty Swooping dangerous. is bad. Ooh. It's dangling. Not a fan. Oh, that's open now. Well, you opened it from the back. Oh, it's spinning. Oh, great. Yeah, if it eats people. Oh, the sun is not just for show. Why do I need you? Everyone's heading to the service. But I think they're crazy not to stay put. Someone is bound to come by and rescue us. And I certainly hope you know what you're doing. Why do I need need you. Well, you could have him wait and maybe not get caught up in that ton of despair. Yeah, that's what I figured would happen, is that if he was walking around, he'd just walk into it normally. Because they are <laughs> kind of stupid. Yeah, unfortunately though, you'll probably still run into shit like that. I didn't notice that as much in the Half-Life series. AI is just notorious for being dumb. They have pretty good uh, AI controls. I don't remember actually like having a lot of companions in the second game, although there is one notable one uh -huh. that's very plot crucial. It isn't like just a throwaway scientist in the second game. But so you have a buddy. 
It's the body system. But the AI in that game was like still being referenced as one of the best AI systems even today. Because she felt like a real person. That's unfortunate. Well, I'm going in there whether you like it or not. That's unfortunate. Bash that fan. I wanted to bash the head crab, but it wasn't with me. We might have to take a step into the room. Nice. I'm great at this so far. Your character suffers the disease of being too tall. Wait, that's where I came from. Why did I come in here? To kill those two head crabs. That's it? Pretty much. There's a lot of areas that you can just go to that'll have like a random enemy or two, but an item, but no real purpose. Well, like, I thought I needed it to open the door. Yeah. You can just crash through the window, open it from the other side. Yeah. I'm bringing my scientist friend along. Oh no, it's locked. It's because the door is Why the should I even... You saved him. Well, that seems dangerous. I've seen this in a Tomb Raider game somewhere before. I uh, think it was the in front floor, of The floor is the lava. You might want to save and maybe give that room a shot. Did you smash his finger with the crowbar to get him to stop? Oh, jeez. That's not a door. What is he doing in there? He's getting upset, that's why he's dodgy. Neat. Yeah, I have ammo. That's probably remnants of a drawer that he just destroyed. Right. Oh, uh, let's see. There could be something important there. There's a first aid kit in here. Well, it's completely worth it. 100%. And you've already... Well, it's not an instant death anyways, so... It's not too bad. There's also a vent over there, I don't know if you noticed. Right there? Yeah. Well, there might be a way to turn off the electricity somewhere. There's a light switch. Sure. Yeah, you're fine now. I thought you turned back on the light switch and I was like, well, that won't help. <laughs> you might have to crouch jump. Yeah, I was trying. Nice face. Where is a head crab's face in reality? Is it the bottom of them so they oh. can't see while walking? You just shoved your face into a fan. Giant metal blades. That sounded like the sarcasm that Minecraft would use. <laughs> Dehelm D -helm just lava. jumped into a fan. Dehelm shoved his face into a fan. Dehelm tried to kiss a fan. Dehelm tried to hug a fan with his face. Nice. He opened the doors. Not that one. You'll have to leave him there. Just bash him in the throw ball. Hello! Oh, I got a new gun. It's a shotgun. Nice, I saved him. Yeah, if you didn't save him, you wouldn't have opened that door.
see, the guards can hold their own. In fact, he just saved you from losing unnecessary life. Uh, that's it? I thought this file might be important, but it's not. It looks like a picture of someone's face. I want an HD rendition of this picture. It's a clown. Is it a clown? With a bowl cut. I'm seeing an emo haircut. Like that, like, blade of hair off to the side of the face. But, like, very poorly drawn 2D rendition. Make sure you didn't get stuck on the boxes. Well, if you get too far ahead, he just stops in general. In fact, he might not go beyond that point. Keep walking to see if he eventually cuts in and follows you. That's weird. Maybe there's an area you missed over there that's... Oh yeah, there definitely was, but... It's like that suddenly became important. I mean, this is the way to be playing. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but you might have gotten this character just glitched over there now. Oh well, keep going with or without him. There we go. <laughs> this character wasn't designed to be over there, so... Now he doesn't know where to walk to. Push him. We must... Beyond this box! Lewis will come with us! Beyond the box! Lewis! See you later. Okay, I'll cover you. Lewis! Oh. I don't think he can break the box, it looks like he's stuck, so that's just the right. That was fun. Okay, that wasn't it. Maybe there's something over here we missed. Well, this is pretty... pretty basic. I think we, we probably missed like an obvious. Do you, is that a switch? Yeah, that was to open the door. Okay. Yeah, that's obvious. Never mind. So there's something like in the other room that we just missed. Most likely. He's just gonna hang out there. He'll, he'll, he'll guard the, the, that box right there. That vent. Maybe there's a second path we didn't see. Well, twice. Shoved your face into a fan, my friend. Well, that's where it ends. On the bright side, that guy might not get glitched to the fan anymore. Well, that box. Well, because he died, so... Yeah, so resetting. But like oh, we, I think, yeah, okay. I like we just noticed, to... though, he's kind of over there, not over here. We need to go get that gun, though. Yes. I need to go get the shot to gun. save while you're over there. Careful, there's a monster that comes out of there. You don't want to forget about that and you kind of die on it. Noise. 
Well, he's gotta try and protect himself at least. I mean. See if he can get past this time. Maybe it was glitched. Let's get the hell out of here. And if he doesn't follow you, well then it doesn't matter. He'll just stay next to these boxes. He's already stuck on a wall. <laughs> Judging by the way he walks around here, it makes me think he's not technically designed to go out of it. No, he's not. 